and by virtue of the authority vested in me by Volkswagen, Bluebird, and Thomas Bus. <laughs> So here we are for an overnight stay. It was quick and nice. It was part of our Boondockers Welcome membership. So if you're interested in one of those, the link below will give you some savings. And when you're here, if you want some 50 amp hookup and some water, it's $10 for the night. Look at this lake, it is gorgeous. It's very pretty, very pretty. So we're on our way to the swarm. Today's opening day. Woo! Making our way to the swarm. Here we are. for breakfast. <laughs> Aloha. I'm excited. So excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> so this is our spot. Yay. Woo! Now this is such an awesome sight, seeing this community come together for an event. I mean, some of these buses are so spectacular. They're amazing. It's really awesome. There we are. I mean, but look at this. Have you guys been to the swarm before? How was your experience? How's your experience this year? Comment below, we wanna know. So this, the buses are getting stuck. It apparently happens every year. And they have a whole team to help you get unstuck. So this is pretty awesome. And I see that they have some really awesome straps to help them get unstuck that we're gonna have to invest in. Jeff's gonna help pull with the tractor. We'll see how this thing goes. So now, if you like this crazy content, please subscribe, like, and comment on our videos. We'd much appreciate it. So the tractor and the Jeep weren't heavy enough to be able to pull this bus out. So we got a, another schoolie bus to help. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, the sugar sand's very soft. Be careful which type of sand and mud that you're driving into because you can get stuck and it can be a really big problem. Luckily, they have the resources here to help. So check-in day was a little hectic for us. There was so much to see, so much to take in all at once. And we didn't do too much filming. And we spent a nice relaxing night by the fire.
it up. I can hear you. Can they hear us? No. No. Could you all please rise for the bride? Welcome, everybody. Some everybody can go ahead and take a seat, please, now that the bride is arrived. <laughs> okay, everybody. Sometimes it all seems to fit. Two lips meet to form one kiss. Two souls merge to form one love. And this union is a reunion with creation. We, family and friends of Kevin and Jewel, are truly honored guests and witnesses today as they are joined in holy matrimony. This is a union of two spirits, a joining of two lives. And commitment is something one grows into and then grows from. Who gives this woman in marriage? I do. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you ready for this? All right. Kevin Strickland, do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate of matrimony, to love, honor, and comfort her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. And you, Jewel Deweese, Jewel Deese, sorry, <laughs> Jewel Deweese, do you have this man to be your lawful wedded husband? To live together in the holy state of matrimony, to love, honor, and comfort him, to keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep you only unto him so long as you both shall live. I do. Sweet. <laughs> Where you go? Kevin, you got some vows? I do. Who would have thought that all the things we've been through before this moment were simply preparing us for right now? This moment that we thought we may never have, or maybe we didn't even deserve. But to find the person, my person, you, that loves me, even though I live in a van. <laughs> <laughs> Who truly loves me unconditionally and without hesitation, does more for me than I can ever give in return. I vow to never give up, to love you more each day as we continue to grow our lives and our family. To always be your person. We knew when we met that this was going to happen, but my mom told me that I had to wait. <laughs> she knew... Too. So, take a deep breath. Know that this moment is the only thing that you need to think about. No yesterday, no tomorrow, just right now. There's nothing you're going to miss. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're exactly who you're supposed to be. You're absolutely amazing. You're perfect to me in every way. And if you want, I'd like to get lost with you and see what it's like to spend the rest of my life with you. Do you have something to say? So, mine's not as elegant and beautiful as his, but... Babe, you knew, who knew that plenty of fish would get us to where we are today, <laughs> spending the rest of our lives together. <laughs> you are truly the love of my life. I knew from the moment that we shared, sitting on the front porch, enjoying our time together, doing absolutely nothing, that I wanted to spend my life with you. Just enjoying and embracing our journey, appreciating the ups and the downs, knowing that with each struggle that we'll be stronger together. Kevin, I vow to be faithful to you, to love you unconditionally, to stand by your side, and to be your travel partner through our adventure that we call life. So I'm going to ask you again, can I keep you? With this ring. With this ring. I be wed. I be wed. In love and truth. In love and truth. And with all my worldly goods. And with all my worldly goods. I be in doubt. I be in doubt. All right. And as much as Kevin Strickland and Jewel Deese have this day consented together in holy wedlock, and have given and pledged a troth to each other in the presence of this company and in the sight of God and by virtue of the authority vested in me by Volkswagen, Bluebird, and Thomas Bus <laughs> and the state of Florida <laughs> and Jennifer Thomas <laughs> we now pronounce them husband and wife and now you are two people
You are two people with one shared life before you. Go now and enter into the days of your lives together. And may your days together be good and long upon this earth. Kevin, I'm going to kiss the bride. <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> We are pleased to present Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Strickland.